It's by the boys, Alex, Logan. Hello, chaps. Hello. We are days away from the start of the season, pre-season testing. Alex, your second season with the team, how much are you looking forward to it? Yeah, really good. I feel like it's um, obviously the first year you're a little bit more um, on edge. I think it's always normal. Um, I'm sure it will be for Logan as well. <laughs> um, but no, you know, it, it's, it's always just about gelling with the team and a bit of uncertainty as to um, what is the team like and, and what's the car going to feel like and all that kind of thing. Um, second year now, I know the areas we need to work on, I know the areas we're strong on, and it's almost just more about um, yeah, building and learning from, from last year. Logan, what's the emotion right now? On edge, as Alex said, or, or just pure excitement? I feel like I've made him nervous now. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, to be honest. I feel like I've been so caught up in the preparation, uh, getting ready for the season ahead, that I haven't really thought too much about what I'm actually doing. Um, I'd say that'll probably more come <laughs> what Thursday of the race weekend when it's all about to like, go down <laughs> when qualifying starts. But um, Qualifying's on Saturday, just... <laughs> <laughs> I'm used to it being Friday. <laughs> but no, I know, I know. You've been a part of the team for a while, though, obviously, through the academy. Do you already feel a, a part of the Williams family? Yeah, definitely. I feel like I already have known everyone within the team for a year now. And um, it makes it a lot easier when you see familiar faces around the factory and at the track. Obviously, we're all, our, all of our goal is to improve and... Um, that's what we're going to do. And Alex, obviously, having Logan alongside you, he's been a part of the team for a year. He's taken practice sessions. How much are you looking forward to having him as a, as a teammate? Yeah, Logan's no, no stranger. Um, I got to know him, obviously, during last year. And um, he's driven the car a few times now. He understands you know, what the team is like, what the car feels like. I don't think it's going to be you know, totally different next year. Um, and really, it's more about us two trying to, to fight more up towards the midfield, working together. and seeing what we can do and, and hopefully, um, yeah, score more points. They always say the first drive you've got to beat in Formula One is your teammate. Will you see it very much as a mentoring role for Logan to help him or is it every man for himself? Well, I'm sure Logan's um, more than capable. The reason why he's in F1 is because of his ha talent. So, of course, we're going to want to beat each other. That's normal. But um, in terms of what it's like working in the team environment, we're going to have to be um, buddies. <laughs> uh, and Logan, moving up from Formula 2, what have you learnt in your time in Formula 2 and in the junior categories that you think you can bring into this new environment in Formula 1 with so much more practice time over a Grand Prix weekend and as Alex was saying, you know, being a part of a, a, a huge team that's all pushing towards that same goal? I mean, I feel coming through the junior, junior formulas, I mean, it's all about, you know, becoming the best driver you can be. One thing that can really benefit me is the years I've done, I've had my ups and downs, um, and mentally that's made me a lot tougher. And obviously going into my first season of F1, that's gonna be a, a challenge. And um, hopefully I can bring that mental toughness and um, be able to use that throughout the season. The season, 2023, sees the launch of the FW45. What do you know of it? And what have the team told you about it? What are the numbers saying? What are the expectations? I know you haven't run it yet, and it's impossible to say how it's gonna be, but what's the team thinking? Well, I think, you know, of course, it's hard to say where we're going to be, but um, you'll see. It looks different. It looks, um, it looks faster. Uh, and I'm obviously an expert on that. So, uh, <laughs> so it looks good. It looks fast. We have to wait and see. I think it's, um, it's not going to be easy. But, uh, you know, we were only missing a few tenths, really, to really be fighting for points every, every race last year. And if we can find them, then we can um, hopefully score some more points. Huge calendar this year, guys. 23 races. Which one are you both looking forward to the most? Obviously, all three in America. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you've got three to choose from. Though. I have to say. Um, but honestly, the, track, the actual track I'm looking forward to driving the most is Suzuka. Um, I feel like it's one I've always wanted to drive since, I've been, since I was a kid. So Proper track. I'm looking forward to the end of that one. But actual venues, definitely one of the three American races. And you, you started karting in Miami, right? On the, car, right. On the car park, which is pretty much where the, the racetrack is <laughs> <Yeah>. now. <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> pretty much. Did um, they have the same tarmac back then yeah. as well? <laughs> <laughs> right, on, uh, right on my doorstep. So that should be a pretty cool experience. Obviously really easy for all, all my friends and family to come out. Uh, so that should be a special weekend. And Alex, for you? Um, I have to be Vegas, just because I feel like that's the, the last or well, the newest track on the calendar. So yeah. I'm excited. I feel like it's going to be so different to the other races we've been to. I feel like Miami was a, kind of like a taster in terms of the, that party, you know, 
atmosphere within the F1 paddock, and I feel like Vegas is just going to take it to that. You next don't want to go to Vegas just for the track. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, we got a job to do, but uh, but you get to enjoy Vegas on the Sunday because we're racing on Saturday. It's true, but I'm sure knowing 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 us, we got sim on Sunday or something. <laughs> <laughs> straight home. Yeah, straight home. It's exciting times for Williams, new partners on board for the year, also a lot of excitement around the team given new team principal stepping into the role. James Vowles, obviously huge experience, multiple world championships at Mercedes. What's the vibe been like within the team with his arrival and what do you think he can bring to the mix at Williams this year? It seems like James really wants this role and he's very motivated to, to push the team along and, and see where where he can put it towards. He's obviously carrying a lot of experience from Mercedes, which for a team like us, I feel like we're gonna, you know, take that with both hands and, and try and look at the areas where, you know, obviously a top team like there, what are they doing differently to us and, and how can we adapt to make quick progress? It won't be long to wait, not long at all until we'll be in Bahrain for that opening test. Guys, thank you so much. Can't wait to see you both on track.